Who can forget the glorious pageantry of the coronation procession or the dignified splendor inside Westminster Abbey brought to millions of cinema goers in all its vivid color? Yet the Abbey, where for nine centuries the sovereigns of England have been crowned, the great church that is so much a part of Britain's heritage is cracking and crumbling away. Smog has eaten into the ancient fabric. A mere touch and see how parts of it come away. Taking stock of the damage is Mr. Harry Newman, the general foreman. He's been employed at the Abbey for 20 years. It was damage from air raids that hastened the Abbey's decay. This gave the smog access through numerous cracks to the interior stonework. For 200 years, this part has withstood the elements, but today, smog and time are reducing it to rubble. To do the necessary repairs, including glazing and cleaning, and to ensure that the abbey is properly maintained, a vast sum of money is needed. And that sum of money is one million pounds. people realize that the Abbey belongs to no particular section or group. Unlike St. Paul's, it is not a cathedral. It does not come under the authority of an archbishop or bishop. The Abbey is what is known as a royal peculiar. This arrangement gives it its independence. The sovereign is described as its visitor. Westminster Abbey receives £20,000 a year from the church commissioners. This is its chief source of income. Somehow, the million pounds needed to build new stonework such as this will be raised and the damaged parts restored. For the Abbey itself, with all it represents, is irreplaceable.